So I'm on to part six of my Let's Play Super Mario World, and uh, we've just completed most of all of Vanilla Dome, including the, the levels up top. So now we'll be heading into Lemmy's Castle, the third Koopa Kid that we will be defeating. And I like how it's all dark outside and there's greenery once again inside this cave. I'm sure that makes a whole lot of sense. Fantastic. Oh, hey! Hey, you're Magic Koopa! Away from me! Uh, joke's on you. Oh! What? Are you immune to the like, spin jumps? I must have hit the magic. I think that's what it was. Yeah, I think it was that I hit the magic. Wouldn't... Oh. And... I don't know. I, I, have, I have no words for what just happened to me there. I thought I stopped. I didn't. I failed. No! Hey, if I'm little Mario, how the heck am I supposed... Oh, that's right. I have to make him break the floor. Because when it hits these blocks, it's going to turn it into an enemy. A yellow hoop? Do they all turn into yellow Oh gosh, I guess they all turn into yellow hoops. Please, no. Yes! That's a magic oh gosh. Eh. Wait, what? Joke's on you, I can get in here. Oh hey, I guess that's where I was supposed to go. Or just get an extra life. Oh fun. Fun fun doodle dum. Oh okay, that's that's a little more feasible. Uh, I guess I essentially gotta wait for their... I can do it. Whoa! Fricker Fragger! Now I'm scared. Oh hey, thanks game! I don't know how much it costs to be able to make your castle do these kind of motions. I would love to have this in my house, just have walls to move up and down, and make no noise, with the blah blah, that would be fun. No seriously, where do... where do they get the... all this lava from? never thought about that. Like, it would make sense if they were, like, on a mountain or a volcano or something, or the castle was deep beneath the grounds. <gasps> oh! Hey! Not cool! I didn't expect that. <gasps> Yay! You're giving me... Yes! Alright. Alright! Time to... Oh, yeah, it was one of these. Oh, gee, I wonder which one's the real one. That... Freaking moving thing is making me nervous. Gotcha! Oh, well, at least the backdrop is kind of correct -ish. What's, what's Mario doing? You got a hammer! Should've been an upgrade item here. Mario has triumphed over Lemmy Koopa's Lemmy Koopa of Castle Number Three. Mario's quest is starting to get much more difficult. Have you found the red and green switches yet? Oh gee, if we you didn't know they existed. Then hopefully you figured out that they exist now. Continue and save. Oh boy. Cheese bridge! And the bridge is above her, the butter bridge is. What's in here? I know how this goes. And just because I know how it goes doesn't mean that I like it. Wait. I had Yoshi. Here's the thing about this one. 
I know what the secret exit is here. I remember it being a huge pain in the you know where. Also, that Yoshi, those wings. I have a green Yoshi, and I take green Yoshi up those wings, he becomes a blue Yoshi. You do a little special stage with. Oh my god. Look at these things. They're all trying to chop me in half. Uh, yeah! Yeah, forget you. Alright, here's the thing. To do this, you have to be able to get a running start. Or you have to abandon Yoshi. You have to get fly, and then if you go back here... I totally died by accident. I'm not even going to try to play it off, but usually the easiest way to do it is to abandon Yoshi. Which is not going to be fun. It's not cool. It's never cool to do that. I could try just to bypass it all and fly through the level. I forgot there's another wingy thing. Not wingy. Wingy thing. Another cape. But that little area there is too small to get a running start on. You need a Yoshi. It's R Yoshi and Cave. If you manage to get there with Yoshi and Cave, then... Well. It becomes super duper easy. We have to have a sacrificial lamb Yoshi. Thanks, game. I mean, it's totally possible, I guess, if we're flying through it, but... It's too much of a hassle. So we're gonna go all the way back here, back to the donut plains, the delicious, delicious donut plains. And we're gonna get a Yoshi. We're gonna take him with us. Now we're gonna take Yoshi here. I'll take this one. This one clearly seems like a good idea. This part's a little too complicated to try and fly past. I mean, I could. I think Yoshi can land on those things and not take any damage. All you'd have to do is just follow along one of these things. As long as you have the cape, I'm pretty sure that it'd be relatively easy. Because you can control your descent. Whoa! Whoa! I'm supposed to do all three. Really. Let's at least let him become a blue Yoshi in life. Like on this area, he doesn't need a blue shell. Oh gosh, I forgot about those. Oh, we can eat them. I didn't lose Yoshi for some odd reason. I could have sworn that was going to be a lose Yoshi moment. It's pointing down. Oh, or that. You can't fly infinitely with this Yoshi. You wouldn't make it very far at all. Blue Yoshi. Probably the best of the Yoshis, at least in terms of getting through the levels. Nope. And 
totally didn't know that that was gonna happen. So. so for this segment, we should be pretty well. Oh no! You can't hold on to these if you have Yoshi. So what you have to essentially do is this to be able to get past this part. Come on. Come on. Oh! That was close. So here's the, the part where you have to be a douche to eat poor Yoshi. And you do that. And then you get this extra life, which is you three. A little mushroom guy gives you three li mushroom. Little moon guy gives you three lives, and you get the secret exit to this level. And then you're in Soda Lake, which I'm sure is great for your skin. And the one level you will see Torpedo Ted. I always used to see him in the end credits as a kid. It wasn't until many years later after I beat the game the first time that I was curious about trying to find all the secret levels until I was like actually smart enough to figure out that the red dots meant that it had multiple exits. Oh gosh! Oh, that's not what I wanted to happen. Oh no! Oh no! Come on, descend faster! Oh god. So I lost... Entering Soda Lake, I lost everything. I lost my best bud! I lost all of my upgrades! All I got were three lives for it. This game, it just, it just tries to teach you treachery. You don't need your friends. Sacrifice them for your own good. Fantastic! He came to haunt me from the past. And they obviously travel way faster than I do in the water. Fantastic, this wall of fish just kind of screwed up all the timing that I was working on here. Just wanted to continue to advance forward. Woo, woo, woo. 26. Bam! And that's how you get to that star road. I'll use it as a shortcut to get all the way back over here. So we get our mushrooms, we get our bud back, and we get our flying. <laughs> Gives you wings. Red Bull doesn't give you wings. You get a cave if you eat a feather, apparently. I'll take my chances with a feather. Now we can take this this star from Star Road. Cookie Mountain! Sounds delicious. No! Oh gosh! I forgot about him! The sumo guy. He like stomps his foot and then everything like burst into flames from a lightning bolt. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Move, 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 move! <sighs> that was close. These Monty moles are trying to stop my my buddy and me from proceeding. 
They're everywhere. They're such a nuisance. It's up here. An extra life. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Those tools. We did it. Good job. I want to blame Yoshi for this one. You're my bud. That means I can blame you. <laughs> really? Bam! They're up to 81 lives. Hey, look! Ludwig's castle. <laughs> no, we just travel between it because we have access to both sides. Oh, yeah, yeah, we get the picture. Oh, this is especially spooky looking. Having the cape here is essential. T joke's on you. I'm gonna take this way. Oh, hey. Aw, oh, man. Oh, well, that's two. Oh, hey. That's three. Oh! That's four. Bah. We got four lives there. Oh, gosh. We got four lives there. That's not too bad. Better than what I've been using. Off! 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 So, what does this button do? It stops the roof from collapsing. Duh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Will I make it? Will I make it? I made it. Yeah. Oh, another fence section. You know, I love these. Bam. I love them because it's the, one of the best places to get lives. Let mayhem begin. Whoops. Pretty, pretty intense. I told you I was gonna have a ton of lives by the time I got to before I even got to the end of the game. Oh, so you're following Dad's footsteps and just throwing fireballs like in the first game. Whoa, that's not cool. That, that that's, that's kind of cheating. I can't I can't hit you from there. Wow. Oh, you just went and got into. <gasps> Come on, just hurry up and do <gasps> I jumped. I jumped. I swear I jumped. No. <sighs> we have to do the whole castle again. We have to do the whole castle again. Ugh! Oh, fantastic! Now I have to be patient. Uh, who wants to be? I don't want that. I'll show you, game. I'll get way more lives this time. I wonder if the pattern's the same. I always do like bam, 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 and then I get this one, and then I go bam, bam, bam. 
and what did I do? I went bam, bam, oh, nope. And bam, 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 got it. And then this one was bomb. Nope, I guess they changed. Oh, come on! That was a load of banana bread. Whoosh! 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 Okay, I'm gonna stop jumping now. I hate you. And I hate you. And I hate you. Please be something of use here. I don't even care for the lives anymore. Just give me something. That's gonna help with the boss fight, yep. Go! Just get to the boss fight at this point. I missed. Oh, gotta be careful there. That was unintentional. Is there a block anywhere here? Nope. Yeah, so I totally need you to. Yeah, that. Let's get to uh, Ludwig over here. Forget you, man. Forget you. Brown. Yeah, I get it. Time's running out. Yay! There goes the castle. Mario's like, where the heck is it going? Oh, whoops. Oh yeah! Give it a little bandage. Ludwig von Koopa's days of composing Koopa symphonies in Castle Number 4 are over. The Forest of Illusion lies ahead. Mario must use his brain to solve the puzzle of this perplexing forest. The hill grew, and it also has a little band-aid on it now. That's kind of funny. Continue and save, but this is a great place to stop the video for now. So if you like what you see, let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe so you can look at my other videos as I upload them along. And let me know what you think, and how I can improve. So, until then, stay classy, Internet. I'll see you next time.